We now consider how to represent negative numbers using binary coding. In the previous video, we considered the representation of numbers using a binary counting code. This system is more formally known as the unsigned integer representation, since it represents the set of integers starting at zero. When arranged in this way, counting up proceeds in a single direction, just as on a number line. To continue the counting process, the count breaks after the highest value is attained and reverts to the lowest value. This is what we will call an auto preset. With this arrangement, familiar operations are easy to visualize. For instance, to add two numbers, here 3 and 4, we consider arrows directed from 0 to each of these two numbers. We then place these arrows nose to tail to produce the required result. This algorithm is independent of the two numbers involved. We now wish to apply these ideas to the representation of negative numbers. We will continue to use 4 bits to represent our numbers. Out of the many ways we can use to represent negative numbers, we will choose a system that preserves two properties of the unsigned integer representation. First and very simply, we want the code 0000, 0, 0, 0 to represent the number 0. Second, we want this number 0 to be at or near the center of our counting system. One easy implementation of this is the sign and magnitude number representation. In this representation, the leftmost bit, called the sign bit, is reserved to indicate the sign of the number. Conventionally, the sign bit is 0 for positive numbers and 1 for negative numbers. The remaining bits are read as in the ordinary counting code. Thus, for instance, the number 6 is represented by 0, representing positive, and the sequence 110, which is the binary code for 6. Whereas the number minus 6 is represented by 1, representing negative, and then the same code 110, representing once more 6. There are, however, two disadvantages of this representation. First, we see that there are two representations for zero. This is undesirable. In order to reassign, for instance, the 1000 state, we would have to come up with an exception to this system. Second, we cannot use the ordinary binary counting sequence to represent these numbers. If we do, then positive numbers will count up in the clockwise direction, but negative numbers will count up in the anti-clockwise direction. This makes it difficult to implement even simple operations, like for instance addition. We therefore add a third constraint. Our system for representing negative numbers must preserve the binary counting order. That is, when we arrange the numbers according to the binary counting sequence, we will count up through our numbers in a clockwise direction whether these numbers are negative or positive. This representation is the one most commonly used for negative integers. For reasons that we'll see later, this is called the twos complement representation. This representation is essentially a remapping of the binary counting order in which the auto preset occurs so that zero is now near the center of the binary count. Note that by making the sequence 1000 represent minus 8, the first bit of the number system retains the property of a sign bit, 0 for positive numbers, 1 for negative numbers. Because the counting sequence has been preserved, the implementation of familiar operations, such as addition, is identical to that for unsigned integers. For instance, to add a positive number to a negative number, we once more draw arrows to each number, starting from zero. 
and then place the two arrows nose and the tail to obtain the correct result.